everybody, this is Sherry with CPR, Craft, Pray, Repeat, and I just wanted to share some of my Christmas tags with you. This is a stenciled background, and I inked around the edges um, with some Tim Holtz Distress inks. I used the Nouveau Glimmer Paste, so you'll see a really sparkly shine there. This little guy here is from um, Cottage Cuts, and I... If he's still available, I will link him in the description box. I had done these tags a while back, so all of my dies have been put away. But I will, if um, if he's still available, I'll try to find him and put him in the description box in case someone's interested. I believe he actually goes with a window. They sell a window that you can do where he's peeking through the window. But I just wanted him popping out the bottom of the tag, and I thought it was really cute. For this little part here, it is a We Are Memory Keepers tag thing. And I did, I typed up the the words for Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which is what I turned him into, Rudolph. And on the back is your to and from. I've got some glitter bells up top here. And then just some red and black ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby to make me a nice little bow. And then it has the uh, double-sided adhesive on the back so that it'll go directly down onto whatever package, um, you know, you want to put it on. And I did use this paper tray ink. Um, it's called Keep It Simple To and From Stamp Set. And it has all of these fonts for the to and from and different sizes and stuff. So it's a nice stamp set to... Um, own if you make Christmas tags and it's very very inexpensive and I really am very happy with it and that's what I use on all my Christmas tags this year and this is my first tag for this set and I'll be back shortly with the next as you can tell this tag is much smaller than what I normally make and he probably actually would have fit yep he would have fit nice on one of the regular tags but I decided that since he was shaped, I would just go with a shaped tag and leave him like this. So I've got a space here for you to write your name. Inked everything up with my Tim Holtz Distress inks. I'm a major fan of those. I used the Nuvo. What are they, Nuvo? Hold on, let me tell you what they are so I don't give you the wrong information. Okay, I used white Nuvo crystal drops across the top here for the icing. I actually put the white piece of paper down that belonged there. And this just went over top of it with the, um, the Nuvo crystal, crystal drops. And it makes a nice shiny like icing type topping. So I really thought it was cute. Used my white gel pen and... Um, and then the eyes here didn't have another layer and I wanted it to have like blue eyes. So I just used a blue gel pen and went around the black so that I had, you know, a, you know, the white part of the eye, the blue color part and then the black center. And then just used the little white dots for the middle to give it a glint in the eye. And then I've got a smaller piece of double sided adhesive on the back. And so it's just a small tag, but it would go, it definitely fit on a small package. And it seems like when your kids get older, as they get older, the prices get bigger, the gifts get smaller. So when that happens, I figure this would fit, and I have one in mind in particular this year that somebody is getting for Christmas, and I can't say too loud because they, they are listening, um, that this will fit on perfectly for his package. So... I figured having some different sizes would work well for me and this is one that I will keep for here so that I can use it on the package that I have in mind and uh, like I said I send a lot out but I still need some for myself here so this will work out just great and I'm gonna come back I'm gonna use I've been trying to leave these out so you can see them and compare them together especially if I use glacier paste or glitter paste or whatever but I'm going to clear these ones out of the way because I wanted to share a couple that I made that were not technically I intended to be tags but I think work really well for tags so I'll be right back okay these are a teddy bear die from polka doodles that was gifted to me from my friend Lisa and I just took my to and from 
and put that on here so there's room here to write the name and then here to write the name or you can write it around the leg however you want to do it and I put some adhesive on the back so again it'll go straight down onto the package but it was such a nice strong sturdy one solid piece of a die that I thought this would be great to use as a tag even though it wasn't necessarily meant for a tag and would look great on a layout or a card or whatever but I turned it into um, Christmas tags and I just put the the little scarf in two different directions so that I could make it you know look a little different added a little flower here and there I've got a couple other ones that I did in um, same more blue more blue tones than where this one I tried to emphasize the green and um, like that so we can do that so you can see the blue and the green and um, but I just thought they were totally adorable made the cutest little tags they'll go directly down onto a package and I just thought they were awesome so I thought I would point this out and share it with you that if you have some dies that are larger dies because this is a good size die I mean let's see the little bear is well just its body alone is almost three inches it's three inches wide you know and then with yeah when you add its head on you're looking at three and a half inches and then just a little with it counting its ears it's like three and a half tall so I mean it's a pretty good size bear and makes a great size tag so if you have any that are like that if you have some big gingerbread men or big Santa faces things like that they would make great tags that you could use just like this and you wouldn't have to necessarily have a tag background you could make a shaped tag so I wanted to point those out and share those with you <coughs> I hope that you like them they were a lot of fun to do super easy to make and but they were different than my regular normal tags that I do and um, so I just wanted to share them I hope that you like this video if you have any questions or comments leave them below now I do know these are from polka doodles so you'd have to look them up because like I said they were gifted to me um, so I can't give you a link sorry but if you have any questions or comments regarding anything else I'll do my best to answer them just leave them below and um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to practice your CPR, Craft, Pray, Repeat. Thanks for visiting me today and happy crafting. Love you all. Bye.